and welcome to an Asda in Bristol. I'm up here on the top because I thought it would be quiet, but it turns out for some apparent reason, not because of me for once, um, that there's lots of cars below here, modified cars below here, so it must be a... They might be coming up here actually. <laughs> Hope they don't. Um, so yeah, this is my weekly update for you now. Um, I always think there's a lot to come, but this is quite a meaty one. That is an MX-5, I think. Fuck's sake, I came in for quiet. Anyway, so this is my weekly update, and there's some important things coming for you guys this week. Now, last week, not too much happened. We had a little link up at the weekend, um, and that brought me into contact with what I think is one of the highest ranking officers in the Southwest, or at least even in Somerset. Now, he has explained to me the risks involved with organising meets, the risks involved if you attend meets, and the risks involved generally and new things coming in to Bristol and the surrounding areas in the upcoming months. Now I have to say, unfortunately for car enthusiasts, it's bad news. It's not news that I want to give you guys, but I'm going to. So later this week, you guys are going to be updated about that. Now, the meet itself was a good turnout, but the police were on it all evening, and subsequently, after speaking to him, I realised it was not worth the hassle and the potential involvement of me again getting involved with having a few meets over the summer is going to put me back where I was nine months ago, back when I was running Beyond City and leaving me liable for potential issues. So he did speak to me and he was very fair. He was looking to arrest me that evening because of hosting that meet, but I didn't have that issue due to being polite and speaking to him. So I thanked the officer for that. Um, he was a sort of the tick in the box, the kick in the face, to make me realise that I was going down a path where I'm hosting a few meets over the summer. And again, whatever does happen, I'm liable. You know, and I thought, oh, it'd be a bit of fun, but as it actually got to run into me, it turns out it wasn't so fun after all. So I did meet him, and a video is coming out this week explaining what he's told me about what is coming to Bristol and the surrounding areas, and unfortunately, it is not good news for the car scene. So that video is going to come later this week. You need to watch it if you are any, or, or in, uh, but if you are in any way part of any sort of running, attending anything car meet related that isn't in a, um, a private land setting, any sort of public meets for even in Somerset as well as Wiltshire, you need to hear this because this is really important. So that is coming later this week. Secondly, on the conversation of police, we have this lovely chap. Now, this officer has recently, among many videos he does put up, recently put a video up that has caught my attention. Now, that is another video coming this week. And I disagree with what he has proposed on this video. And I think actually what is being suggested is actually illegal. Now, we'll get to that when that time comes, but that video is again coming this week. Now, I don't like to be having police rated content on the channel. But, you know, when I see something that I don't believe is right, I will stand up for it. So you've got one about what is going to be happening to the car scene in Bristol. It isn't good, if I'm really honest with you. And then the second one is going to be talking about this video that he's put up and discussing potentially why I think it is going to cause people more injury and it's also going to mean people are breaking the law. So do not think a police officer should be highlighting on social media so nothing against him personally but i don't agree with that video and i will be putting up my opinion and my thought process behind that video and what is also the legal side of it too so that is also to come this week now this weekend i am attending attending not hosting <laughs> attending a meet in the uh wiltshire area so there's a big collab of a multitude of clubs coming together for a big meet and I'll be there for you guys as always to collect the content, enjoy the evening and go down there and grab an awesome video for you guys that can't attend and for you guys to see in the future. Now I've got again a couple of police officers that I want to have a conversation with regarding something they have told me at a previous meet which they haven't followed to and again you'll see that in the video because I'm not impressed with Wiltshire police at all with that either. Now, like I say, to write that in the sand, Wiltshire police, even Somerset police, I do not have an issue with police. You guys or any police globally. The police 
are a fundamental part of society and they're not all bad. So don't get me wrong, this is not an anti-police channel, this is not a police hating channel, but I don't agree with what is going on and how the police treat us as car enthusiasts. And I will stand up for it. I don't have a dislike against the police, I don't have an umph against the police. It is realistically the police that are involved with us at car events and the way that we are treated as car enthusiasts by the police. So those two videos are coming this week and they're super important. And I will see all of you guys that are attending that meet on the Saturday, I will share the details of that. Again, I'm not hosting, I am not doing anything, I'm not supplying anything. All I'm doing there is to capture video for my own benefit, for my page, and for you guys, no involvement there from me whatsoever. To make that clear, before we have any police trying to go down the route of pinning things on me that aren't me. And that really summarizes the week. There's gonna be no more limitless meetups i did one in weymouth it went okay the one in bristol was a flat you know and the police were on it and you know and when i had that conversation with the officer i subsequently realized what i was already thinking that it's not worth it not worth it at all now that's not i'm scared of the police i'm not going to attend meets i'm not going to go to meets blah 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 blah, blah. but i'm not going to have that direct involvement in doing gatherings of cars for events because i don't want to be held liable for the shit show that can happen with meets so I'm sorry guys, but no more Limitless Link Ups. Now what there will be, is there will still be the horrible exploring trips and there still will be little Link Ups we do where we'll go for food, we'll do something different, bowling, paintballing, activities, but nothing really car related and car meet related. I need to do what the sole platform and the sole use of me was in this page. And the use for me with this new page, with this new name is media. And that's what I need to be getting. So that is my week's update for you this week. And quite frankly, there isn't really a lot else that's really happened in last week and going into this week that's very different. I do have a car review on Thursday, excited for that. If you want me to review your car, give me a message, comment below, blah de blah de blah and review your car. I don't care what it is, I respect and love every car as long as you make it your own. And it's different, so we're more than welcome to come and join me um, at any car meets, come and have a chat get yourself involved get your car on the channel i would love it now just to finish off to mention broadly speaking it is a month away but just to mention i am going to be doing a video 24 hours of homelessness now that is going to be a document uh, entry that is going to be a documentary it's going to be hard it's going to be difficult and it's going to be very mind-blowing to those that do indeed watch um, I'm very thankful so far that I've had a lot of people come forwards to help with uh, bringing me into contact with the right people to really make a decent film. But I will be in August spending a complete 24 hours with nothing but my camera and potentially probably a blanket and that will be it. And I'll be left to fend for myself in the city of Bristol for 24 hours. It doesn't seem like a hard task but it's going to be a very big eye opener for me and you're going to see a lot of mad stuff now we've got other series coming to the channel and other things coming where we're going to be looking and moving into more of a documentary styled take of video so you're still going to see all your car stuff you're going to see illegal and your illegal unplanned blah blah blah, blah car meets on industrial states at night that sort of thing but you are going to start to see some larger films that are going to be focusing more on real world issues. And I will also be doing some videos with the police, believe it or not, in a positive light too. So there's just so much to come and I'm really excited for you guys to enjoy the journey. So thank you very much guys for watching. And I do really stress, really stress to you guys to watch that video this week about what is coming to the Southwest from a policing standpoint because it is really going to mess the car scene up and it may even ruin Bristol forever. So have a great weekend and I hope you enjoy the videos I've got coming for you this week. Have a great Tuesday.